It is our pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Etsu Bracha Keynes, who will share with us more about the Local Empowerment Center and everything else that she's been up to. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. I am elated to be here this early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I know this is so meaningful. Yes. So that's why you could get me up out of bed. Absolutely. <laughs> right. I go to bed very late. I'm up every night until some the wee hours in the morning. Well, that's I'm anyway. working on the same empowerment center. Yes, um, by now I'm sure and I hope that everybody in um, reach of my voice knows about Garden of Rebirth. And I know I heard you say that you, yes. you knew about it. Of yes, course, we discussed it's, it. It's been a work, and still is, a work in progress. Um, I came up with this idea in 2014. Mm -hmm. I served as the director of gender affairs, same, so I know Chanel very well. Um, and I was afforded the opportunity to represent Senkits in Taiwan. And of course, I visited a center there called Garden of Hope. And Garden of Hope is the model that I'm following. Mm -hmm. It's one of the top models in the world. Mm -hmm. So I went in there and got very nosy. <laughs> the only thing I wasn't allowed to do is to actually see the victims. I, I did see a few peeping mm -hmm. through behind the curtains, but I, I'm sure they got fed up of me. <laughs> you know, but I came back, and I came back to send kids. And the first thing I did was I called my family and I said, I just had an experience. And you know, we have this home that is a family home. I know my children are not going to come back here to live anytime soon. We never can tell what's going to happen in the future. But I said, we have this home, and I'm tired of renting it. And if we're going to have persons live in it almost free, why not use it for a worthy cause? And so I asked them, I asked my family to come up with a name. I said, but it has to be Garden of something. Mm -hmm. Two reasons, Garden of Hope and also the owner of that home, which was my grandmother, God bless her soul, Mrs. Mary Jane Francis. I'm a product of her upbringing. She always had a garden, a beautiful oh. garden. And I'm proud to say, at every Easter, one of her lilies still springs up. And there's another plant that I refuse to have anybody remove that she would have put there before she died in 1993. Mm -hmm. That tells you how long. So her spirit is still there. Mm -hmm. And um, 2015, I uh, sat down, and I, I hope I'm not divulging a lot here, but I'm telling the truth. Yes, yes, yes. I sat down, and I got copies of various documents from different organizations to use as models for me to be able to register Garden of Rebirth by myself without the help of an attorney. Now I hear you have to have an attorney, mm -hmm. but I do have an attorney on my board, so mm -hmm. she keeps me straight. And I applied. We were registered, 2015. At that time, I was teaching. And I was still worrying about how could I sustain this big project? Because that's the main thing, sustainability. We hear the UN talk about the, sus development, the sustainable development sustainable goals. Development, right. Anything is sustainability. Right. To be able, because many times we come up with, with big great projects, ideas. great ideas. And then, unfortunately, it's not sustained. And no, it's, it's not because we're inept or incompetent. It's because the funds are not there. Correct. So, and I'm a person who digs. I dig. I dig. <laughs> I know we that. can tell. I dig. You're quite resourceful. So, I uh, was able to get myself um, a scholarship at UWE to be trained as the manager of an NGO. Mm. So I got all of the knowledge, and of course, the big challenge is always, how do you sustain your NGO? So I reached out for um, a grant, my very first grant. And of course, I went in and I said, hey, I have this center that I want to um, get some money for, thinking I could get money to fix up the building and money, and my ladies, here, and I tell everybody that I surround myself with young professionals, 
ladies are men, and I have one sitting right up right here because we talk together, and I was always calling him <laughs> math, math, math. But now we're here with something else, you right. know. Um, and I reached out and I said, you know, I want to do this. And the first thing they said to me was, you know, when I'm in St. Kitts, Miss Bracha, sometimes I get afraid that my husband might say, they don't, you don't want my name anymore, but it's okay. Um, Miss Bracha, you can't get money to fix a building. Or Miss Bracha, you could get money. Look at this environmental, the environmental issues. Think about energy and winning the Energy Globe Award. I know over 180 countries submitted projects to, in, to address environmental issues, and you won yes. from our tiny little island. Yes. So tell us about we're that. small, we're tiny, whatever you want to say, but we're tall. Oh, right. <laughs> we're not easy. Right, so tell us about the project right. that you submitted. OK. You know, I had to go back into my emails to find out, it's too, because people are asking me, how did you know about it? And I'm like, let me go back. And I found where these people, don't know them from God know. knows where, <laughs> right. from Austria. Mm. They wrote me, said they heard about me. Wow. So at everything I do, I have to say I go back to my family. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I am here alone in St. Kitts, but I have my, and I'm talking about blood family in the United States. I travel back and forth. And so I went back to it. I saw, I was reading the emails back and forth, and I said, people look here, look at this. And um, my husband responded and said to me, oh, I know about that man, because he works in the hotel industry. And so he has met a lot of persons who come for conferences, et cetera. And he said, this is a great, um, I, a great opportunity. And I said to the children, I need you here. I need you, because I don't know if I can do this. Myself, right. And so, but knowing me, a lot of mouth, but mm -hmm. I did it. Yeah. And so I did the application, because I, I started by saying that when I uh, applied for the grant, I approached it in that I could um, apply to transform the building, the structure, mm -hmm. into a green home. Mm -hmm. And that grant, so we have solar energy. I always say, Boston say one of the top solar systems in St. Kitts and Nevis. I don't compete with the airport, but I'm but, saying right. yes. And we, everything we do there is energy efficient. Mm. We harvest water mm. so that we are getting ready to, because we, nobody was there for a while, um, we have Stuart Laplace, who is going to be building our hydroponics garden, which mm. I did get a grant for as well. Mm -hmm. So our thing is everything green, mm. energy efficient appliances, etc. So I went ahead and I wrote up the whole thing. Of course, I had to do some research. I had to present it very well. And I had to get some pictures. I was um, some pictures taken quickly so that I could submit. Mm -hmm. And that was on December 7th. Mm -hmm. So I went off to the States. I was up there for about six months working on the center up there because we have a board up there as well. We're registered there as a 501c3. Oh, wow. So that people can donate mm -hmm. and write us off on their taxes. Mm -hmm. So we're, as I said, we're legit. Yes, we you're, you're global. Legit. Yes. You're global. And so, what was it, Tuesday or something? I went into my emails. And I saw this email, and I'm like, I started shaking. I'm not going to lie. I kid you not. I couldn't. I just started sending it out to persons. It's like, pinch me. Tell me it's real. I didn't even eat that day. I couldn't do anything. And everybody's, you know, persons, my family, everybody said, you know, this is great. This is wonderful. You need to get the media on this. You need to get the media on this. And so I took a deep breath, and I started spreading the word. And I haven't gotten out of a cheer. Since then. To, since then. <laughs> yes. right. But it's not, I want to say, it's not all about me. Mm -hmm. It's all about the support I have because, mm -hmm. as I said, I have some ladies in the background. They don't want me to call their names, mm -hmm. but they are behind me mm -hmm. and they push me. Some gentlemen as well, because mm -hmm. see, I'm right here next to you. <laughs> <laughs> right.